All right, I'm the Flight Raid Master, and today we're going to talk about a survey among mostly shop owners. There are some technicians and service advisors in the survey, but primarily it focused on, well, shop owners. Now, it's from Parts Tech, which obviously is focused on parts. Now, I thought there was some really interesting stuff in this survey, and, well, I'm going to focus on one part of it because it's kind of, well, sad. Obviously, this survey is, well not going to be universal. It's of whoever answered the survey. And I don't know how it was distributed, probably to people that use parts tech as a product. Let's get into it. Now, who took the survey? 40% were shop owners, 35% were shop managers, 14% were service writers, service advisors, and 11% were technicians. Locations, 48% had one location, 30% had two to three locations, 11% four to five, and more than five, 11%. So pretty wide demographic. Now it covered the entire United States, including Alaska, which was tied to the Pacific, which kind of skews the California numbers. California probably should have been its own category. There's a lot of stuff in here about adding a service rider will increase revenue, stuff like that. We're not going to focus on that. Participants in the survey in the next five years labeled the technician shortage as one of their biggest challenges. However, when asked for their top three goals for the next 12 months, there's a notable gap between this top foreseen challenge, meaning they know it's a problem. However, when asked about their top three goals for the next 12 months, there's a noticeable gap between this challenge of te technician shortage and the action and plans to step. However, those same people for the next 12 months about their top three goals, there's a, nothing about technician retention. So despite a significant exodus, only 3% aim to add technician retention and deal with turnover. That's really, really bad. Other goals aimed at the technician shortage, such as new tools and technology, was only 7%. Training or sending team to training was only 8%. That's a huge problem for me. There's a whole thing in here about EV training and hybrids and all that, and yet they're not doing anything to train those technicians that are there, they're not worried about retaining technicians. They're not worried about, well, keeping technicians at all. They're really, that's really off the mark. One of the, you know, foundations of a good working shop is a good team that's consistent, meaning you don't have turnover. You're not constantly training new technicians. And well, none of these shop owners that answered this survey before I get anything, Again, I said in the beginning of this video, it's a survey on who answered. But so few are concerned about turnover that it's 3% is crazy. Why? And I, I, I personally don't understand that because, I mean, you figure most shop owners are going to have at least several good employees in their view. And why wouldn't they be concerned with retaining them? I don't get that. Uh, there's a lot of other good information in this survey. I'm going to try to figure out how to share it. Um, if I, Hopefully I can find the URL where this originally came from. I got it from a Facebook post. But it, it's a lot of interesting information about everything that participants in this survey answered. You know, one of the things that was really surprising to me was the gross profit on parts. Everybody preaches over 60%, all the gurus. The most common two percentage points was 30% to 39% and 40 to 49%. You know, really low. I mean, let's be honest, that's really low for parts. You know, even if me bitching about 60% margin, you know, it's still really low for parts. That was really surprising to me. You know, <laughs> their average gross profit on parts is that low. They got some problems. I mean, not only 19% uh, 
were 50 to 59%, which in my opinion is more reasonable parts, but you know, I'll get roasted in the comments for saying that 60 to 70% is only 12%. That's, that was surprising to me. I mean, really honestly surprising that margins were that low in so many shops. I tried looking for the total number of respondents in this survey. They don't have it totaled up anywhere. I'll try to put it on the screen right here. Uh, but it's surprising information in this survey. Average RO actually wasn't that bad despite the low margins on parts. You know, average shop has three to four technicians. I'll probably do another video on some of this other stuff, breaking it down, but it, it's it's very interesting. It's it's very concerning to me that so many shops are not concerned about the labor shortage or the technician shortage, and there's so much they can actually do, and we're going to do some videos about that in the future. But anyway, I just thought this was really interesting about the, you know, complacency of shop owners when it comes to keeping technicians in their bays. So as always, thanks for watching. I am the Flat Rate Master.